Right, time for a real treat. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect steak and chips and using something really special. I've got a 30 day dry age Cote de Boeuf, which is essentially a big thick slab of ribeye on the bone, meltingly tender, loads of flavor. So you need to treat it with a bit of respect, a bit of care. Make sure you take it out of the fridge half an hour before you plan to cook it, just to take the chill off it and so that it cooks really nice and evenly. Lay it on a wire rack. That's gonna allow the air to circulate round and it'll just bring it up to temperature a little bit so that it cooks really evenly once it's on the griddle. So to go with the steak, I've got a really delicious butter, which has got everything in there that you could possibly want with beef. So to make this, just take some softened butter, add some grated garlic, some crushed pink peppercorns, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and then finely chop some tarragon leaves and some parsley leaves. Add that all together and give it a good stir till it's combined. Then spoon it onto a piece of greasy paper and roll it up tightly into a cylinder and then pop it in the fridge for about half an hour or so until it's nice and firm. Get your griddle really nice and hot and then season the beef generously with salt and pepper. And you don't need oil on a steak like this because there's a lot of fat in there anyway, that's gonna render out base the meat, it's not gonna stick. And lay it straight on the griddle. And it's that hiss that you're looking for that tells you your griddle's nice and hot. You could also do this on a barbecue or even sear it in a really hot frying pan. Now this really is my favorite cut of beef. By cooking it on the bone, you've got loads and loads of flavor in there. It's gonna keep it nice and moist. But the beauty of a ribeye is you've got the perfect balance between texture and flavor. There's loads of fat running through there, which is gonna give bags of flavor. Now that just puts a smile on your face. These lovely deep char marks, beautiful crust, and the smell is fantastic. Now the reason the flavor on this beef is so good is because it's been dry aged. So that's really intensified the flavor of both the beef and the fat that's running through it. Once you've given it a couple of minutes on each side to build up that lovely crust, take it off the heat and then transfer it to a roasting tray. So then this needs to go into an oven, but just beforehand I'm going to put a couple of slices of this butter on top and that'll help to baste the beef as it cooks. So the reason I'm cooking this in the oven is to give it a much more even cook. So that just needs to go into an oven at 200 degrees. Now I think medium rare is perfect for a piece of beef like this, so for that it needs around about 16 minutes. Five minutes before the end of cooking, just take it back out again. Add a couple more slices of this butter. And again, that's just gonna to help to add loads of flavor and baste the steak as it cooks. And that goes back in for the last five minutes. And that just smells and looks incredible. And that butter's really done its job. When the steak's ready, take it out, transfer it to a warm plate to rest, and add a couple more slices of butter. And then just to keep the warmth in, I'm going to cover it with some foil. It's going to let all of those fibres relax in the meat. Juices distribute evenly, so when you come to carve it, you're going to have uniform, beautiful pink slices. And really, there's only one thing to serve it with, a lovely portion of chips.